It's really none of your business. <laughs> Can I have my book now, please? Child, everything that occurs here or noon is my business. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. All right, Attar. We've stopped. What is it? I now christen you the Champion of Solitude. I think it's a promotion that is well overdue. Nothing like going from the headsman and the jailer to the champion. You've done well. Let's go. Yes. All right, Zelzaz. I'm sorry I don't have a office for you to take. But perhaps in time. Let's go. I think we have some business to attend to. In Markarth. Here we are. There was that girl that I needed to speak with. You don't know anything about this house? No. Anyone seen in you know that slowed soap is made by slowed themselves? It's abandoned, own. and it's Absolutely always been abandoned. Yeah. What do you want? Stuff. Need something? Is everything all right? Do you need help? All right? Excuse me, but who are you? <laughs> Your questions are misplaced. Aha! You eavesdrop on a conversation outside my home, and you wonder why I have an attitude? Everyone from Skyrim is so funny. Well, I wasn't eavesdropping. Oh, then why were you lurking around my home like that? I Just don't even know where you guy live. Leave? If you think I'm gonna let you have your way with me or my stuff, you're dead wrong. <laughs> Do I look evil to you? I know better than anyone how looks can be deceiving. <laughs> I just wanted to help. But why? I don't think Does it I've matter? ever someone so concerned with other people and not want something in return. Well, I do want power. Perhaps you can provide that. Some relic, some artifact, perhaps? Why are you making this so difficult? Why are you so persistent? I'm actually starting to believe you're genuine. Anyone else's patience would have run out by now. I'm sure. What do I need to do to prove my sincerity? You're really not going to drop this, are you? Look, I really have nothing to offer you, so don't come back expecting a reward. I guess I should at least give you a chance then, shouldn't I? Maybe. Okay, if you really want to help me that bad, I do have something you can do. Of course. There's a spot a little east of here I used for fishing. I left... Uh, I left something there, and I just want you to bring it back. It's nothing valuable, so don't think you could just run away with it. But it's still important. I'll mark it on your map, so just bring it back to me when you find it. Remember to take care of yourself. It's harsh out there. Thank you. I describe the flavor of his sap as ephemeral. Consuming it gives you a longing for the infinite. That's difficult to explain. Alright, it looks like there's something up what here that I haven't. Oh, this is her home. Okay. What did the note the man gave you say? I thought we discovered this hall. Interesting. That's a, another thing what to business do college majors add to my list about, about this world. How the map markers keep disappearing. All right. Let's see. Where are we going? Miri's camp, we've been here before. Did me 
Miri, Marai. Not sure which. Yeah, see, the corpses are still here from the last time. I thought I recognized this, uh... the name of this camp from the first encounter we had with that girl. Alright, what are we looking for? Here's her journal. I wanted to start writing these things down to remember them. I don't remember much from when I was younger, but I swear I've seen them before. It's seven in the morning and I just woke from the strangest dream. I was lying on a bed, but it was extremely uncomfortable. It felt like I was lying on a huge slab of ice, but it burned really bad. There was a strange man towering over me. He looked familiar. But I don't know, his face was mostly shadow. His mouth moved, but no words came out when suddenly, the very last word he said was so loud it woke me. I had no idea what it means though. It sounded like, sauce? I don't know. Today was supposed to be a fun day, all of us together out to see Wayrest, but then, father was visited by some very tall men with strange masks. I've never seen my father act so strange before. All throughout the day he was so quiet and serious, almost anxious. I asked mom about him and she seemed as worried as I was. I hope he turns back to normal soon. This is a long journal. Well, I really don't have time for all this. I'll take it. Can you so, tell me what the big deal is? This is it. We are not going through this again, Mirai. Wait. I told you to stay What's in this? No! This isn't fair! Is this a vision? That's enough, Mirai. One more word out of you and the trip is cancelled. Can I interact with you? It was a vision. Alright, well, I suppose I'm becoming even more powerful. And what's in here? Well, I think that's it. It's time to get back to the girl. Oh, this is a horse. All right, what now? Someone do something. Oh, that's quite a large bear. Heard of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. All right. Good luck with your investigation. Let's go. Girl? What is it? Is this what you wanted? That's it. Give it to me. I looked inside of it, but it was so long I couldn't finish. I figured you would. I'm not surprised. I might as well ask then. 
What do you think? Um... Are you still having dreams? Actually, no. I'm long overdue. I haven't had a dream like that for close to a year. Still, I feel they mean something, so I don't want to forget them. What do you think they mean? I don't know. Maybe they're just dreams, and I'm obsessing over nothing. My mother was always such a strong believer of signs from the Nine. I just knew I should pay attention to this. Look, this was a nice chat and all, but I've said enough. It's really none of your business. <laughs> Can I have my book now, please? Child, everything that occurs here or noon is my business. But here is your book. Thank you. This is very important to me. I know what you're thinking. Well, why didn't you get it yourself then? Well, that's really none of your business. It's not like it was going anywhere. I was just in a rush, because I remember Shin was supposed to be back today. Have a few ways of getting around. Either way, the most prominent one, I really should take better care of it. Some use levitation to get around instead. The lower classes, on the other hand, have to stick to the Silton River structure. Shin, is he who you were speaking with earlier? Uh, yeah. I've known him forever. He's an old friend of my mother's. He's been an invaluable help. I don't know where I would be without him. What has he been helping you with? Uh, These something. vagaries, girl. Mm. You're trying my patience. Why don't you ask him yourself? You're all for doing stuff for free, right? Oh, well, it's I not for free. Well, I instead to find someone and, well, he's already done so much for me. He could probably use some help. Never mind, just go to Rorkstead and talk to him. He'll have something for you to do. I'm sure. It All right, it seems that we're headed to Rorikstead. I hope you know what you're doing. All right, here we are. Oh, I, he's not inside the inn, but here. Are you Shin? Yeah? Shin? Only one person calls me that. Who are you? I'm Zavros. And Mirai sent me to help. Mirai sent someone to help me? I thought something was different about her today. Why is that surprising? I've known Mirai for a long time, and when she sets her mind on something, nothing will keep her from getting what she wants. Determined. I like that. Hmm. At least you see the gun in her where others would be quickly put off by that same personality. Or I could use some friends like you. Anyways, we're getting off track. I don't know who you are, but if Mirai told you where and who I am, you must have spoken with her. I knew this was a long shot when Mirai told me her plan, but I really didn't want her to lose hope. This is probably her last chance. I was supposed to find an orc who goes by the name Junin, a friend of her father's. From what Mirai remembers, he lives in Rorikstead or Falkreath. I've looked around town several times and spoke with several people, as well as the guardsmen, and no one has seen any orcs around here. I think you know where I'm going with this. I'm exhausted, and I could use another pair of eyes in Falkreath. Mirai wants to speak with him personally. You can either bring him back to me and I'll take him to her, or bring him yourself. I personally never met this orc before, so I don't know how cooperative he'll be. How you persuade him to Mirai is up to you. Not too bad, right? But if there's anything else, I'll be at the inn here at Rorikstead if you have any questions. I need a break. <laughs> Very well.
I do have some questions, though. Mirai probably didn't explain very much, did she? No. She's a tough shell to crack. If there's anything you need to know, I'll help any way I can. And why are you looking for this orc? Information. But with our luck so far, I doubt this orc will be all that helpful. I think Mirai is just getting desperate, but it's difficult to say no to her knowing what's at stake. And what is your relation to Mirai? I knew her mother before she was born, and when I had a daughter they both became best friends. They were inseparable. Naturally, I grew to care for Mirai as one of my own. Anything else? Why are you helping her? I've known Mirai all her life. She's like a second daughter. Would you refuse your daughter if she asked you for help? That's all <laughs> there is to it. Anything else? I think that's all I need to know. I'll be here if you need to know anything else. Thank you, you're dismissed. All right, you two. We're headed to Fall Creek. Here we are. Let's see if we can find an orc. This is probably not the place to look for one. I mean, after all, it's proclaimed that Skyrim is for the Nords. What would an orc be doing here? What is it? Oh. Dragons? I've got a feeling. He's in jail. There he is. Get out of my face. Are you Junin? Finally. It's about time Zanen sent someone else to get me out of this wretched hole. Who is Zanen? Zanen. Whatever, however you say it. Who's Zan? Oh, right. No one. Just do as your employer sent you to do and get me out of here. And why are you in there? For absolutely nothing. The way that Nord was looking at me, if I didn't get him first, the second I turned around I knew I'd have a knife in my back. I swear, if you saw the way he looked at me, you would have done the same. Hmm. It sounds like you were in the right, then. If looks could kill. But the snowbacks of the Falkreed guards don't see it that way. Of they course not. They better I never see them alone once I get out. Now, how am I supposed to break him out of jail? All right, let's get you out of here. I'm noticing that my lockpicking skills are no longer increasing.
I knew Zanen wouldn't send another useless imbecile. Good work. Now meet me outside at the rendezvous point. Okay. Let's go. The Jarl Thane. I demand you let me go at once. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. Even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. Here you are. What do you want? <laughs> that is no way to greet someone that just broke you out of jail. What are you what are you looking at? It looks like we're clear. <laughs> is that what goes for a city guard these days? I think I felt a little tickle. Well, it looks like you took a beating. Imagine if I had a weapon. They caught me without equipment twice now. It won't happen again. You wouldn't have made it without my help. Ha! <laughs> you made it here alive, so I suppose you held your own pretty well. Much better than the last pawn Zonan sent, at least. All right, then. I need to take you to speak with a girl named Mirai. How do you know that name? It's Wait, not important. You know where she is? Yes. You weren't hired by Zonan, no. were you? Mirai sent me. She wants to speak with you. What could she possibly want to speak with me for? How would I know? She just wants to speak with you. Who are you? Why did she send you? I am the Dragonborn. The Dragon? With Mirai? Yes, and I'm helping her. The girl somehow managed to enlist the help of the Dragonborn. Forget it. If Mirai wants to speak with me, then take me to her. Well, then, that was easier than I thought it'd be. <laughs> I may be getting older, but if I can make even the Dragonborn nervous, I still got it. Oh, I'm not nervous. Let's go. She's in Markarth. A day away, then. I should speak to her as soon as possible. I'll follow you. Just lead the way. All right. I'm hoping that we can fast travel there.
No good. We're all here. Come on. This way. The safest city in the Reach. It's the only city Speak in the about Reach. Mirai, your father. Your father has been worried sick about you. Don't want to know I found you. Found me? I wasn't hiding. I've been waiting here for months. Exactly where he told me to. You're telling me he didn't think to look for me here? And why are you acting so strange? You've never called me by my name before. It's always... The girl, or Skeever, or Runt. And your attitude is different. Everything is different about you. <sighs> but you're still the same paranoid girl. Can you drop that act for one second? What would I lie for? What do you have that I could possibly want, Runt? Just keep your mouth shut and I'll take you to him. Wait, where is Shin? Shin? You mean Colin? That worthless sack of meat your mother calls a friend? Shut up! He is more of a man than you'll ever be! Wait, is my mother Imagine with the father? the sort of melting pot that Mark yes, could be if things were peaceful. Yes, they're not far. I can, can take you to the right by now, but we could also use your well friend's help. Nord and Reachman culture. She is? Then yes! Take me to them right now! That's what I like to hear. Whenever your friend is ready to come, we should go. Okay, I'm coming, but first... Hey, uh... Thanks for your help so far. But I... I need another favor. Oh, really? What is it? I, uh... I'm a little nervous going alone anywhere with this brute, and... Well... Uh, I don't do this very often, alright? Just come with me. Well, are you sure this sounds really personal? Uh, it is, but honestly, I don't trust Junin all that much. Really? He's acting really strange. <laughs> I just don't want to go alone. Something in my head is just telling me not to go. But it's too good of a chance to pass up. Hey, I'm not gonna beg. Gonna run. Just come with me. Try Lul sometime. It is very sweet, as it's made with sugar cane. All so right, then. Use it of we'll sugar. accompany you. Right. I'll go with Junin, and you can just follow us, or if you have something else to do, just meet us there. All right. Where is there? Let's step outside and look at the map. Right in the middle of nowhere, from what I can tell. All right, men. Let's go. We have a journey ahead of us. And an adventure.